Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to actually mount our Dremel onto my bench. Uh, well, I don't know what the heck you want to call this now. It's a wall-mounted uh, Dremel bench press. I think it was the... I'm not real sure what the name of this was. Um, there's a lot of different drill press type pieces that you can get on Amazon or eBay and they like hook onto another table and stuff. Um, but with this Dremel stuff, I just wanted to go with the name brand stuff. These things are reasonably priced. Um, if you have a Dremel and you need something on a tabletop for, you know, doing a little bit of uh, scrolling or drilling some real small holes, this thing is pretty neat. So. I'll put a description below on uh, where I got it from. I did buy this off of Amazon. Um, sometimes you can get them a little cheaper uh, at Home Depot, but any purchase from the links below will really help me out. So we'll just go ahead and mount this up. It's real simple. I've got two Dremel tools, so I'll show you two different options on what to use this for. So yeah, let's get into this. Okay, so when you go to it's, uh, buy this kit, you've got this little arm here that comes off. And, you know, basically on your Dremel tools, you just have this hook on the, ba uh, back, on the back side of your Dremel tool. A lot of people have no idea what that's for. But uh, all you use that for is to hang your Dremel tool. And what I'll do is I actually bought... This is your swivel piece that you put into the Dremel, and it allows you to work on stuff um, while the while the Dremel's hanging. So we'll go ahead and install this onto here, and then we'll go ahead and hang this, and then we'll also take the other Dremel that I have, and we will mount it in the Dremel hole where it's supposed to be. And the Dremel hole basically will allow us to drill some very, very small holes. So yeah, let's go ahead and get the, the snake attachment on here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually, I'm going to show you how to do this here. And go ahead and put the snake piece out because as you are attaching it, it's going to want to flop around. So what you have is you have the internal cord of the attachment. And you're going to basically um, undo and do this like you would your normal arbor bits. So to attach it or disattach it here, we just take our Dremel tool, hold our button, and loosen our headpiece here, which will remove the uh, wire. So to reinstall it, we're going to insert the wire and get it in there as far as you can. And we're just going to go ahead and tighten the attachment here, just like we would a normal shaft. And then we're going to take the sleeve of it and come all the way down. There's a plastic cover on these and you need to remove them. And then we're going to put this over the cover. And then we're going to twist until it tightens up. And then there we go. We'll go mount this. Now, um, for our drill press setup. What we're going to do is on, on the bottom here is a little little nut and th when you buy this kit this is what you have the wrench for and just like the previous one we're just going to take off this plastic cap oh actually we're going to have to remove the the, the attachment first for the one eighth shank pieces we'll put that back on and then what we're going to do is we're just going to mount. Now with the cap off, we're just going to, I just threw the cap on the floor. You might want to keep the cap. So the cap's kind of important if you ever remove this. So don't throw the cap away. And we're just going to insert like so. And then we have a nut on the bottom that I'm twisting. And it's tightening to the Dremel. And you have a little bit of space here. And what they did was they cut this out really smart. So you can still access the button. I got big fat fingers, but when you go to change your bit, you'll be able to press it. 
and then change it. But what we're going to do is I'm just going to hold this drill press or this Dremel and I'm just going to tighten this up. And, re and remember, we're not messing with metal with these Dremels. Um, everything is plastic. So you don't want to over tighten stuff and, and, and get stuff torqued down so much because I'll tell you what, you'll rip all the threads out of it and then you'll be mad and trying to call Dremel for a warranty repair. So just, just get it snug. Just get it snug. You don't want it to uh, fall out, but you also don't want it to be too loose. And then we'll just... Get this puppy plugged in, make sure it's gonna work. Now here comes the test of uh, if these Dremels still work. So we'll go ahead and plug this one in first to my power strip. Let's turn it on. Woohoo, we got one that works. Then we'll get plugged the one in with the snake shaft. I really like this snake shaft one. This thing, if you need to get into a little bitty hole or something, um, or, or need to grind something really small, having this extension on this piece is, is awesome. This doesn't necessarily have, these don't have to hang. You can lay these on a table and for the most part, they'll stay still. But um, let's see if this, if I got this piece attached. Hey, oh, I do. So, all right. So that's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. Put the links below to the ones that I use. These are both uh, single speed units. They're not multi-speed. Uh, I really didn't want the multi-speed for when I'm drill pressing or using the uh, the shaft on these. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to check out my other videos. The garage isn't done. The garage is coming along. I'm pretty much, as you can see, I've got room for one more piece. I need an actual drill press put in next to this. So uh, just check out the other videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And any purchases from the link below really help me out so I can keep keep doing this YouTube thing. I really got screwed in 2020. I'm out of here.